Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Finance with Max, where we explore the fascinating world of economics and its profound impact on society. Today, we have a thought-provoking and comprehensive topic to delve into. Two economic systems compared capitalism versus socialism. Economic systems play a pivotal role in shaping our daily lives, from the way we work and earn money to how wealth is distributed within a society. Understanding the fundamental differences between capitalism and socialism can provide us with valuable insights into the ways these ideologies influence economies worldwide. Let's begin by taking a closer look at capitalism, the bedrock of many modern economies. In a capitalist system, private ownership of resources and means of production drives competition, innovation, and the pursuit of profit. It fosters an environment where individuals are encouraged to take risks, which can lead to groundbreaking entrepreneurship, technological advancements, and overall economic growth. Capitalism's invisible hand of supply and demand guides the market, determining prices and quantities of goods and services. Consumers have the power to make choices based on their preferences, influencing market forces and shaping the economy. However, the pursuit of profit in capitalism can also lead to income inequality, as some accumulate vast wealth while others struggle to meet their basic needs. The wealth gap between the richest and the poorest can widen, potentially leading to social tensions and economic imbalances. The ongoing debate around capitalism centers on finding ways to balance economic growth and prosperity with social equality and safety nets for the less fortunate. Now, let's shift our focus to socialism, where the central tenet is collective ownership and control. In a socialist system, the government or the community manages key industries and resources to promote social welfare and reduce income disparities. Socialism emphasizes providing essential services, such as education, healthcare, and housing, for all citizens. It aims to create a more equitable society where everyone has access to basic necessities, regardless of their economic background. However, critics argue that centralized control may stifle innovation and entrepreneurship, potentially leading to a less dynamic and innovative economy. Moreover, some argue that excessive reliance on the government might reduce individual freedoms and incentives for hard work and personal responsibility. The challenge lies in finding the right balance between the collective good and preserving individual liberties. Now that we have explored the core principles of capitalism and socialism, let's delve deeper into their practical applications and compare how they operate in different real-world scenarios. Countries across the globe often adopt mixed economic systems, combining elements of both capitalism and socialism. For example, the United States is known for its predominantly capitalist economy, with private ownership and market-driven forces. However, it also incorporates socialist elements, such as public education, social security, and safety nets for the vulnerable. On the other hand, some Nordic countries, like Sweden and Denmark, have developed successful social welfare systems, combining capitalist economic structures with generous social programs and high taxation to support their citizens' well-being. Understanding the nuances and outcomes of these mixed economic systems can provide valuable insights into how various policies impact a nation's prosperity and overall societal well-being. The debate between capitalism and socialism extends beyond individual countries and has far-reaching implications on a global scale. Capitalist economies often promote globalization and international trade, fostering economic interdependence between nations. The free movement of goods and services across borders can lead to increased economic growth and collaboration. However, the unequal distribution of resources and benefits in a globalized world can create challenges, such as exploitative labor practices in developing countries and environmental concerns stemming from increased consumption. Meanwhile, proponents of socialism argue for a more equitable global order, with a focus on addressing poverty and reducing economic disparities worldwide. In conclusion, Capitalism and socialism are two contrasting approaches to economic organization, each with its unique strengths and weaknesses. Capitalism fuels competition and innovation, while socialism emphasizes social welfare and equality. Finding the right balance between these economic systems remains a critical task for policymakers worldwide. I hope this comprehensive discussion has provided you with a deeper understanding of capitalism and socialism and their profound implications for society and economies. Don't forget to comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on this topic. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos exploring the diverse world of economics.